Let's take a closer look at wind-up toys. Here we have a selection of wind-up toys. First, we'll take a look at the baseball. The baseball has a key on the side, and when you twist the key and release the, the ball, it hops along the table. But what's really happening there? Well, inside the baseball, there is a spring. And when you stretch the spring, the shape of it or the configuration of it changes, which stores elastic energy. Just like when you stretch a rubber band, when you stretch a rubber band, its configuration changes and it wants to go back to its original shape. That change in shape stores elastic energy, which then could be used to do a variety of other things later. Well, a spring inside that gets stretched or compressed, but usually stretched inside. But maybe you'd like to take a look inside. Now I have a broken wind-up toy here. It broke and then we decided to dissect it, sort of. So we remove the back of the mouse, and here you have a key, just like on the baseball. And on the far side over here, there is a spring that's hooked on to the key. When we turn the key, the spring gets stretched out further and further and further, storing elastic energy. That elastic energy is what is used to turn the gears later, resulting in the mouse bouncing across the surface, just like the baseball did. But there's another kind of wind-up toy that we'll take a look at today. It's one of these pullback cars. Inside here, there's a spring, but it gets pulled not by turning a key, but by pulling it backwards. The friction between the car and the surface pull or stretch that spring out so when we release it, the car can move. So hopefully that helps you better understand what's happening inside of these windows.